Hello everyone and welcome back! In this new section of the course we are going to focus on testing some more complex Angular services. We are going to do that by implementing the tests for the courses service which is being used here by our running application. As we can see this is an HTTP based service that has several methods such as for example find course by ID, find all courses which is the method used here to lower the list of courses in the home page. We have a save course method that is used by the edit course dialog for modifying data on the server and we have the find lessons pagination method which is used for finding lessons that match a particular search criteria in our server. As you can see this is a typical Angular HTTP service that could very well be part of your own project. Let's then go ahead and write a test specification for this service. Here in the same folder as the service class itself we are going to create here a new file and we are going to call it courses.service.spec.ts Inside this file we are going to define our Jasmine test suite. So let's then use here the describe function to create here a new test suite. We are going to give it the same name as the service and we are going to create here an inline function. So inside the suite we are going to define here the multiple tests that we are going to implement. Let's then start thinking functionally how this service should behave. So looking here to our courses service let's start with this method find all courses. In order to test this method we are going to create here a specification that it will say that it should retrieve all courses. So let's see how we are going to implement this specification. As usual in order to be able to test the courses service we are going to need an instance of the service. So let's define it here. We are simply going to call it courses service. So this instance is going to be populated using the before each block as we have seen before. This way we will have a new instance of the service for each specification of our test suite. Let's then see how we are going to create an instance of courses service using before each. So just like before the basis of our test setup is going to be the angular test bed. This is going to allow us to implement an angular testing module that will contain an instance of our service. So let's call here configure testing module and let's pass it a configuration object. So one of the things that we are going to need is a provider for the courses service. And because in this test we are unit testing the courses service itself, we want an actual instance of the service. So let's add here the constructor function of the service to the list of providers. We can now use the testbed to retrieve an instance of the courses service. Let's call testbed.get and pass in here an identifier of the injectable that we need. In this case let's pass the constructor function itself. So now we have here a new courses service for each of the specifications. But there is only one problem. The courses service as we can see depends on the HTTP client. So we also need to add an instance of an HTTP client in our module configuration. The problem is if we would add here HTTP client directly this would cause our tests to start issuing actual HTTP requests that would attempt to contact the server, retrieve results, etc. So this is actually not what we want in this unit test. Instead we want to provide a mock implementation of an HTTP client that is going to return test data that we can define at the level of the tests. So in order to replace the HTTP client with a new mock implementation we are going to import here the HTTP client testing module which is also part of angular core. This HTTP client testing module includes a mock implementation of an HTTP service. So that's the implementation that is going to get injected here in our constructor. This implementation is going to have all the same methods of the real HTTP client such as for example get, put, post etc. But instead of issuing actual HTTP requests the mock implementation of HTTP client is going to return test data that we're going to define for each test. The mock implementation of HTTP client will also allow us to assert things such as for example that a given HTTP request was only issued once and not multiple times, that the HTTP request was not cancelled etc. 
So in order to be able to specify test data for our HTTP tests, we are going to be needing the HTTP testing controller. Let's then define here a new test variable and annotate it with the type HTTP testing controller. We can now populate this variable using the Angular test bed. And with this, we have completed the setup phase of our tests. Let's now try our new test setup by implementing the first spec of our courses service. We're going to learn how to mock HTTP requests during a test, assert that the HTTP functionality is working as expected, and much more.